led a Texas Mexican mafia enforcer in federal court to answer charges, including his involvement in at least three unsolved murder cases. 36 year old Ruben Reyes is also suspected of ordering the hit of Balcony Tights police officer Julian Pastina this past May. KSAT 12's Tim Gerber live outside the federal courthouse with the very latest. Tim? Well, Reyes was brought here after being arrested by FBI agents for his initial appearance. And by the way, we were the only media present here this morning as he was being walked into that courthouse flanked by FBI agents. According to a criminal complaint filed today, Reyes is accused of murdering three high ranking members of the Texas Mexican Mafia who had been removed from power after being accused of mishandling approximately $60,000. The victims have been identified as Mark Anthony Bernal, a captain in the Texas Mexican Mafia, Carlos. Chapa, a general, and Johnny Solis, the lieutenant of lieutenants. All three were killed by Reyes back in December 2013. Reyes told investigators he was involved in those murders when he went to SAPD investigators earlier this month after he was the target of a failed hit by the Texas Mexican Mafia. He was shot in that attack but survived. He told investigators the bodies of those victims were set on fire and buried in shallow graves in Pearsall, and that's where they were recovered. While there is nothing in the criminal complaint today, uh, Sources tell us Reyes also ordered the hit on Balcones Heights police officer Julian Pacina this past May. Pacina was believed to have had ties to the Texas Mexican Mafia and was under investigation when he was murdered. Uh, Reyes's involvement in Pacina's murder is part of an ongoing investigation, and that's all that U.S. attorneys would tell us today. Reyes did have his initial hearing here today. He was basically told what the charges are against him, and then it was asked that he be held without bond. That was granted, so he will now have his next bond hearing next week. We'll have more for you on this case coming up at the bottom of the hour. For now, reporting live outside the federal courthouse, I'm Tim Gerber, KSEN.